Hi guys, so I'm here with Dr. Raymond Hardy. He's one of my educational supervisors and he's kindly agreed to come on and have a chat to you guys. Um, so I'll let him introduce himself um, and just tell you a bit about himself. Yes, well, hello viewers. <laughs> Uh, my name's Raymond Hardy. I'm an associate at Valley Drive Dental Practice. I am also an educational supervisor for UMD. So yeah. what does like, an educational supervisor do normally? Yes, that's quite a difficult question to answer. <laughs> um, it has many facets, yeah. but essentially um, the, there is a contract between the educational supervisor or the practice, yeah. um, <clears throat> the local deanery, which for us is London and Kent, Surrey and Sussex at the moment, and our foundation dentist, which is you. Yeah. And that runs for a year. Mm -hmm. um, it begins um, in September after the graduation of the foundation dentist. Do you find it enjoyable <laughs> since you've been doing it? You've been doing it for quite a while, haven't you? So we have uh, about six, six years experience in this um, area. Yeah. Uh, is it enjoyable? Of course it is. Very <laughs> yeah. um, cool. The graduates are all very, almost driven, some of them, very intelligent. Mm. Um, I mean, the products of a, a, an education system, yeah. and they're, uh, they're, they, I've found their own credit to it. That's good. Any, any negatives? I'm sure you're not going to say any negatives. Is it all fun, or do you think there's things that would be of benefit to people who are going to foundation training, things that might be difficult about foundation training? Yes, I'd say uh, it tests the uh, it, it tests the individual in a number of areas. Um, academically, you're you're still you've still got a number of academic hurdles that you have to overcome. Yeah. Um, also, physically, it's tiring, um, and of course, your um, it's it's it can be very very intense. Yeah. Um, your uh, you're affected. You're dealing with a volume of patients that's much greater yeah. than um, you've experienced in the hospital. Yeah. Um, Obviously, it's a bit different now with COVID with us because I haven't been. It hasn't been as intense for me. Um, COVID has changed quite a lot. Usually, I'd have seen loads of patients by now. Um, but what? What do you think COVID has changed about foundation training? Well. <laughs> I mean, I have to be diplomatic here, really. <laughs> uh, I mean, I have views on COVID and how it's been handled, but, yeah. which is not really the right place, not right forum, should we say, for <laughs> yeah. um, But nevertheless, uh, COVID has um, had a, a, a great effect on the training mm. of, of uh, new dentists. Yeah. Um, uh, so, so obviously, clearly, as you say, it's affected your um, your training in the hospital yeah. and it is having a, a, a serious impact on the um, come to, uh, the way we practice dentistry yeah. at the moment. Yeah, that's 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 a very good point you've made there. And what advice would you give to people that are watching now? Probably a lot of dental students are watching this, and they are a bit worried about foundation training. And obviously, you've seen a lot of FDs. What would you say to them? Well, you have um, because you've you, you've been admitted to dental hospital. You've gone through the A levels and, uh, and, and whatever, or the international baccalaureate. Yeah. Um, you've got through what five years of dental hospital. You've, yeah. you've already proved that you're capable in, in in a number of areas. That's very true. I mean, that's not just academic. Your um, your um, skills, your technical skills have um, have been developed. So generally. I would expect you, you you to have that that is have that all in place, yeah. um, and you should have the drive actually to get through the year and uh, and fill the contract. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, those who do well in it just embrace the whole yeah. thing. You'll meet success, but you'll also have failure, and you'll Very learn true. from it. Yeah. Um, the educational supervisors are. Um, 
I wouldn't say desperate, but they're, <laughs> they're, they're very highly motivated to get yeah. you through the year to pass on all of their knowledge yeah. and to help you to develop as a dentist. So, yes, it can seem daunting to somebody who's facing it. Yeah. But, I mean, with all, all, these, all these kind of tasks, you, you, if you break it down into yeah. little parcels, you can overcome it quite yeah. easily. But all of the skills the, yeah. uh, necessary, the, um, your education will help you get through it. Yeah. Um, I think you should always be, uh, your mind, as, a, as an individual, you should be a very inquiring individual. Yeah. You'll, uh, you'll be introduced to a whole new um, world. Yeah. I mean, your patients will be very interesting people. Yeah. And, uh, and you'll, you'll, you'll develop relationships with them, and those can be very rewarding. Yeah. So, um, I mean, the, the tip is to, uh, I mean, you have to continue working hard on it, uh, mm. but you're going to be doing that for the rest of your life. Really, Very your true. Life. Hard work never ends. Um, you work hard for dental school and foundation training, I guess, is like a step up from dental school, but I think it is good because it's more practical as well. And yeah, Raymond hit it right on the head. Like, you have to just keep on going and... Failure can be inevitable, but it's what you learn from it, I think. Um, so yeah, no, was, that was really good. Thank you, thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Yeah, all right guys. Well, you probably see Raymond again sometime later if he decides to come on another video. But I think for now, that was really good advice and hopefully you can take that on board. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sarita. Hi, you Andy. Hi. So, obviously you're my educational supervisor this year, just thought it would be great to introduce you to the people that watch my YouTube channel. Um, so would you just like to introduce yourself? Yes, so I'm Sarita, um, I work in Valley Drive Dental Practice in Gravesend and um, Yuandi has joined our practice, which we're very happy about, and Raymond is my co-trainer. And how long have you been doing educational supervising for? Like, for people who don't know what the role of an educational supervisor is, would you just want to explain to them what that's all about? Yes, so we get the dental graduates um, that um, come from university and they spend their first year with us and we help them um, make the transition from university life and university training and get them prepared for working um, in dental practice um, within the NHS. And how have you found it so far? Oh, we absolutely love it. We absolutely love it. It's, um, it's wonderful to be able to discuss ideas, um, compare techniques and help um, graduates along the way. And obviously you've been doing this for a very long time. I know you've been practicing dentistry for a long time. What would you say to people who are going to graduate from dental school and become dental um, foundation trainees? What is your advice to them? My advice um, is to make the most of the year. It's a fabulous year. It's a great opportunity um, to learn even more, to make that transition, to find your feet um, in general practice and um, just get better and better at what you do. And we've got mentors that will help you along the way and will share ideas with you. So it will just be, there's such a massive opportunity to just learn so much and I would ask everyone just to make the most of it because after that it's very difficult to come across such such um, setups such yeah. yeah that's very true that's very true and also how do you think this is a bonus question how do you think COVID has affected the foundation training this year because obviously my foundation training isn't as normal as it would be how has it changed since COVID? So we are restricted with what we can do. Um, however, there is a huge backlog of treatment that needs to be done and patients still need to be seen. So of course we have to abide by all the rules and regulations and the guidance that comes out. But I do still feel that um, all foundation dentists will still benefit from the year and still have an opportunity to learn a lot as well and a lot of it will be um, a lot of skills will come into play and you'll know even more than the average um, foundation dentist because of incorporating all of the COVID into your practice so it's challenging but it's not um, it's still beneficial mm. that's very reassuring because I think a lot of us in our year group we feel like COVID has disadvantaged us but it's nice to hear you say that 
it will mold us into better dentists. Yes, it was an opportunity to still learn a lot, and there will be, um, and and you will still help a lot of patients. That um, there's a huge backlog of work. Um, there will not be a shortage of um, patients that need you. So you are all very much needed. Thank you. And what would you say, final question, what would you say your favourite thing about dentistry is? Oh, people. People, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Sarita. I'll probably be seeing you more later on down the line, but thank you for your advice. Yes. And See you yeah. Later. Yeah. Good time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Right guys, so that's the end of the video. Let me know your favourite part in the comments below. And if you did like this video, remember to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!